Diba? Tug -tug, tug -tug, tug -tug. Malakas siya. Maririnig nyo nga sa video eh. <laughs> anyway, just finished the 10 kilometer uh, run today. And uh, yeah, not so long like our long runs usually. Okay, tuloy natin ang kanta. You are my sunshine, my own sunshine. You make me happy. Parang pang army. <laughs> you make me happy when skies are blue. No, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Hello, enjoy mo na ako dito, di ba? <laughs> Teka lang. Out, out. Oh, out, out. Tapos ilagay mo siya dito sa tabi ko ulit ng video. Out, out. <laughs> Anyways, I'm very thankful that you joined the, our run for today. It's the 10 kilometer uh, run. And I think yeah, I was a bit challenged with the pace because it's a bit windy, like here. Shout out, shout, mam windy, Sifra, <laughs> miss you there. <laughs> and and as I have mentioned, uh, I want to 
to tell you the importance of one of the vitamins that I don't know if many people already know how important it is in the body but it's vitamin D and uh, actually vitamin D can be sourced out from many food sources but as you know even if you don't eat it you can get it easily where do you get it oh, you know sunshine you are my sunshine yes you're right you can get it sa sunshine sa sikat ng araw easily you can get the vitamin D there but unfortunately many people could not have enough of that sunshine you are my sun or sunlight because number one many people usually go to work very early in the morning no sunshine my only sunshine and then go back home from work without sunshine again oh that's one of the problems and another problem also is that we have different for example a genetic um uh, ge genetic genetics genetics some of us has white color brown color and you know studies have shown that brown colored people usually process the vitamin d very slowly so it's also a big problem and also yeah sometimes due to quarantine nowadays i understand that many of us could not go home uh, go out go, home. <laughs> go out and you cannot get the sunshine or sunlight that you really need so the sometimes we need to have the supplementation this is yeah this is the argument that i showed you before right? one of our vlogs that whole foods or supplements or natural sources this is one of the exception to the rule like if you cannot get if there's limited sources of it for the current situation yeah you need to source it from another uh, another another thing like supplements so yes later i will show you some more studies so that you will believe me and those studies and i will say and maybe pose an argument that vitamin d can also reduce maybe some virus related problems such as the what is happening now the coronavirus yeah for now i'm enjoying some of the part actually this is for the children <laughs> but yes you, you, they're not yet uh, they're not yet outside this is sleeping so anyways this is also our res i think a residential park so as you notice it's not closed but some parks around tsukuba city that is under the um, tsukuba Tsuk public parks yeah the government has a say to that and they can say damn it damn it in japanese says, damn. okay damn it so yeah it's cuter damn it damn it damn it <laughs> damn it you know <laughs> okay let's get going now because maybe they will say that ah oh, kai kokujin kai kokujin another word for foreigner kai kokujin don't say gaijin it's not so good term better say kai kokujin is for foreigner damn it damn it Okay, bye bye. A few moments later. Ouch out! Ouch out! Ouch out! Okay, thank you so much for keeping in touch with us and still in um, our uh, video for today. And as I have mentioned, uh, I will put emphasis on one of the vitamins that I think people is not putting emphasis into nowadays, but is already found to have very good health benefits and this is vitamin d so actually i just put here vitamin d is a fat soluble vitamin that has been proven to provide uh, several health benefits to the body and uh, what are those so first um the health benefit is uh, promoting um good teeth and uh, bone formation and uh, another health benefit is also the support for uh, um, lung functions and also cardiovascular health so for the heart and uh, these days actually vitamin d has been proven and with a lot of evidences that it can actually reduce the livelihood of several respiratory tract bacterial and viral infection which includes our problem nowadays is the coronavirus and um, this vitamin d can actually be obtained from uh, several sources and the number one source is actually sunlight and um, aside from getting out outdoors and getting enough sunlight we can also get it from foods and uh, some foods that has been found to have high levels of vitamin d is um, 
for example, fatty fish, including tuna, salmon, and also a beef liver, cheeses, or, and other dairy products, and also um, eggs. However, actually many of us cannot obtain the required levels of um, this vitamin D in the body. And for instance, Philippines alone was found to be 50% uh, insufficient and deficient in terms of vitamin D. And this means that one in two persons is vitamin D deficient. And um, even though that uh, there is this deficiency, actually we think that it can be fixed. So if we cannot get enough sunlight and also enough food, uh, food um, we believe that supplementation can fix this problem. And that's why in the market, I don't know if we can show, <laughs> in the market, we can found several supplements. And uh, one tablet is 1,000 international units. And 1,000 international units contains 25 micrograms of vitamin D. And uh, according to the studies, um, adults, uh, can at least or should take at least 1,000 international units to 4,000 international units of the vitamin D. And above, vitam uh, above 4,000 international units is already um, probably maybe toxic to the body. And uh, we put importance in taking this vitamin D because... Uh, as we said, people cannot cannot have it, and uh, we are found to be uh, deficient, and we have insufficient levels of this in the body. And I would like to put emphasis also that studies have shown that genetics also play on the production of vitamin D levels in the body. For instance, it has been shown that darker skin colored people like me produce vitamin D slowly as compared to whiter skin, I don't know, I'm not, <laughs> whiter skin people. And that already is a big limitation for us. So the need for supplementation and achieving um, these levels of vitamin D needed in our body. And uh, for example, and especially nowadays that there's coronavirus and the vitamin D has been found to really reduce the occurrence of this inflammatory inflammation in the body which results to um, viral infections and also bacterial infections. So I hope that uh, you get something from this and I hope that you catch how important vitamin D and how vitamin D is needed in our body, especially nowadays that coronavirus is really, really hard to, to really cure. And it is only through prevention nowadays that we really make our body stronger by doing enough uh, exercise, good nutrition, getting enough of vitamins that the body needs. So I think that's all. Thank you so much for listening. And uh, please, at least uh, reach the needed vitamin D levels in the body for healthier you and also living in the new normal. Please like and subscribe the new normal athlete. That's me. <laughs> and uh, yes, please like and subscribe. Bye.